Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to separate even and odd number in the array. Right? For example, array is holding a value something like uh, 1, 4, 3, 4, and uh, we have a 2, 6, 7. So now in this array, the array is holding the value something like this. From here, we need to separate even number and odd number. So what is our expected output will be? The first one is a 4 is a even number and 2 is a even number and 6 is a even number, right? First, it has to print the even number. Then we need to print our number 1, 3 and 7. So this is what our expected output. So let's write a code and understand step by step. First, I am going to create a method. So we'll create a method for separate the even number or odd number. So for creating a method, I'll go with public packet. I'll go with the integer array. That is the return type. Separate um, odd and odd even. So I'm just going with this way. I'll go with the integer array. Give any variable name. So now what is this? So I'm just given a created a method over here. This method is declared over here as a public, meaning that it can be accessed from the outside of the class. So static indicates that the method belongs to the class itself rather than instance of the class. So no need to create an instance of the class while we want to call this method because we have made it as a static keyword. Then we have a return type. Return type is an array of integer. So now this is the method name. Here we have an argument. It takes uh, you know array as array of integer, right? Array of integer array is an input parameter over here. So now we need to initialize the two variable. So I'll, I'll let you know how we have to why we are creating a two variable over here. So first I'm going with the left equal to zero and int right equal to array dot length array dot length minus one so what is this one now here we have we have a two pointers right one is a left and one is a right we have a two pointer left starts from the beginning of the array so that's why we have given a zero index from the zero index so left starts from the beginning of the array and right right starts from the end of the array so that's why we have a pointer now I'm going to use a while loop. While loop that continues as long as the left pointer is less than the right pointer. So till that has to iterate. So I'm just going with the while loop. Here we need to say left less than right. So till that has to iterate. So left pointer should move to the right until an odd number is found. So that's where we have to go with the another uh, you know, inside that I'm going with the another loop. So this while loop, we are going to add a left pointer. Left pointer is going to move and it is going to check the condition whether it is a even number or odd number. For that, we can say while loop. Here for checking a, uh, you know, even or odd number, always we know that we are going to use a modular operator. Mod operator, you know, 2 equal to equal to 0 means it is a even number. So I'll go with array of, here we need to pass the left. So array of 0, the first value will come over here. So array of uh, 0, I am checking that mod 2 equal to equal to 0. So if it is an even number and we have another condition. So another conditions will be left less than right. So this is the way we need to add. Loop check if the current element is even. If the condition is true, then it is going to increment so left has to increment so i can say left plus plus okay so now increment the left variable until you get a odd number and another while loop for more right pointer so we'll go with another uh, while loop so here i just go with the right so here we are checking the odd number so for that what we have to do same modular operator mod to equal to equal to instead of 0 here we need to go with the 1 because if it is a 1 that will be the odd number so we are going to check over here the same way we need to check another condition is left less than right right so now this is the way we need to check so here 
right uh, right pointer is moved to the left until even number is found. So the condition we are checking over here array the array of right. So the first time it will be the length minus one. Total length it will going to come over here. And total length means suppose if it is this is the array. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the index. Fifth index. So this value will come over here. So array of uh, 5 will be the 7. 7 mod 2 equal to equal to 1. So that is the where it is going to check. So if the condition is true, then we need to say write minus minus because it is coming from the end of the array, right? So that's where we need to go with array minus minus. Then once the loop everything is done, then we have to swap. Swap even number and odd number. So for that we need to go First, we need to print even number. Then we have to print the odd number. So, I can say if left less than right, right, this condition is true. Then we can say if the left pointer is still less than the right pointer. It means an even number is on the right side of an odd element. So, we have to swap. Using a temporary variable, we can swap the left and the right values. So, first we will create a one more temporary variable equal to here we need to store array of left okay now here in in uh, array of array of left here equal to array of right so this is the just a swapping simple swapping swapping the two variable with the temporary variable so array of right equal to we are going to pass the temporary variable right so now here it is increment left and decrement the right pointer. So once this is done, we have to say left, we have to increment, then right, we have to decrement. Okay. So the loop continues until the left and right pointer cross each other. Then finally, we are going to return R. So this is where we have to it's going to decrement right variable until you get a even number. So if left or less than right, so we are swapping that left and the right. In the end, you will you are going to see that you know even number first it is going to print, then it is going to print the odd number. So let me call this. So now I want to call this method. We have created a method, then we need to call the method in the main method. So we have created as a static method. So, no need to create an instance of the class. So, directly we can call the method. First, we have to initialize that array. Int array, int array equal to, we can pass the value with the curly brace. So, suppose 1, 4, um, we have a 3 and a 2, 6, 7, something like this. Right now, we need to call the method. So, for calling the method, I just copy this. You can pass the array because here it is asking you the argument as an integer of array. So that we need to pass the array over here. Now we can print it. So using a for loop, we can print for int i equal to 0, start from 0, i less than array dot length. Till that it has to iterate, then i plus plus that is an incremental value. So this is the syntax of for loop, right? So we will use the same thing. So now inside that for loop, we can print the value. So simply we can print. So we can print array of i. So the i value we need to print. So if you want to add a, a comma in between the characters, then you can add a comma. Right? Now you want to print in a same line, right? Instead of a new line, each and every uh, element should print in the same line means we can remove this element. So now it's going to print in the same line only. So now let's run this. It's going to print even number. The first it is printed a even number, then it is getting printed a odd number. So this is the way. So now suppose if I is changing the value of uh, here, I'll go with the um, 9. This is something like a unit. Okay, so I'm just changing that. Now again, we'll run this. You know, first it is a printing that even number, then it is printing that 
odd number. So this is the way we have to separate that even number and odd number.